Hey everyone, welcome back to another Ruby from, Ruby from Scratch video. Uh, so in this episode right here, I'm going to be talking a little bit about documentation. So I'm going to type a lot of commands in Ruby and then I just don't want you guys to think like, where is he coming up with all these commands and stuff like that. So I just want to show you guys the Ruby documentation. So if you head over to rubydoc.org um, and you can browse around and you can do a search and all that stuff. So I'm just uh, going to pick a uh, document over here called, the, about it's about the integer. So we're going to experiment with the integer uh, class and then basically, um, you know, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about like how to actually read the documentation so that you can get the most out of it. Um, so for example here, you know, uh, we're reading through the documentation for the integer class. So in the previous episode, I called a dot class uh, method call. And uh, basically, um, you know, it's, it's one of the methods that you can call on an instance. Um, and, you know, in Ruby, we have uh, two kinds of uh, methods. There are public methods and instance methods. So you can see here public class methods and instance methods. So what's the difference? So, well, if you actually uh, take a look at the documentation, you'll see very clearly here, uh, you can call integer.square root. So example, if you want to square root a number in Ruby, uh, you would do it like this. So for example, integer dot sqrt and then three. So we should get one and if we do nine we should get three so that's square root and you need to call the, the so the public uh, class methods you need to call it from the name of the module so for example right now we're using the integer module um, it needs to be called from the module and instance methods are actually called on the objects so uh, what that means is for example if I want to get the actual objects into like a number two and I want to call one of these uh, instant public instance methods, I will need to call it from the number two. So two dot, uh, for, so for example here, uh, I can see odd. So this will return uh, true or false based on what the number actually is. So for example, two dot odd, so this should be false and two dot even. So you can check um, you know, if the number is odd or even just by calling an instance method. So it, later on in the video, you see me saying, a class method or instance method, that's what this means. If a class method, um, you know, chances are I need to call it on the class itself. So like for example, this here, we're using the integer class. Uh, so, you know, it, it also might be a module. So we'll talk about classes and module a little bit later. Uh, but yeah, that's what it means. Uh, you, you can have a class method or you can have an instance method. Um, and, uh, you know, if you look through the documentation, you see a lot of those examples around. So I just want to put that out there so that when you guys read through the documentation for yourselves, um, you don't get confused. Like what is the class method? What is instance methods? And you know, like how do I use this stuff? Well, there you go. Now you know. Uh, and if you get stuck and you need help, uh, let us know uh, in the comment section. Uh, we also have uh, updates coming on our site. So check out our site, become a member to get access to all the Ruby and Rails content that you ever need um, to get started to build stuff with. So with that, uh, like, share, and subscribe, become a member on our site. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next episode.